fabulous people welcome to rome and welcome to my fourth part of hidden gems of rome if you're looking for things to do in rome that are so unique that most people have never heard of before then this rome travel guide is definitely for you now before we begin please remember to smack that like button and if you're new to my channel and my vibe and the vibe of this channel resonates with you i invite you to subscribe all right fabulous people now let's start exploring let's begin this rome hidden gems guide with one of the top rome attractions that until recently you could only admire from a distance and now you can finally explore every corner of this special site in person i'm referring to largo di torre argentina located right in the city center between rome's ghetto and the pantheon this large square houses an important archaeological area, the place where Julius Caesar met his fate in 44 BC. I cannot tell you how excited I am to be here. For decades, I would pass by this place, look at it from the very top and dream how one day I will be able to actually be here physically and of course share this experience with you. And I'm so happy that this day has finally arrived and we are going to explore this place together. Largo di Torre Argentina, also known as the Sacred Area has been inhabited around the 3rd century BC and considered one of the most important archaeological complexes of the Eternal City. As you begin your journey into the past, you will see the four temples from the Republican era, consecrated to various ancient Roman goddesses, still partially preserved to this day. The temples are identified with the letters A, B, C and D in succession from north to south, as it's hard to establish to which deity they were dedicated. But the most significant area is located behind the temples B and C, which is called the Curia of Pompey. This is the place where the Senate used to meet right before the birth of the Roman Empire. And it was here that Julius Caesar walked into the Senate on the Ides of March and met his fate in the form of 23 stabs. The price of the ticket is just 5 euros and it will not take you a long time to explore this place, but the entire experience is going to be so worth it. And even if you are not a huge fan of history, I'm going to give you one more reason to visit Largo di Torre Argentina, one of the most important Rome landmarks, and that is a cat sanctuary. Located right on the side, you can come here to adapt, donate or simply play with cats. The entrance to the sanctuary is free, but the time spent here is absolutely priceless. Now, since a lot of you have been reaching out lately asking me where you can book all the hidden gems of Rome I've been mentioning in my series, as well as popular sites in Rome like Coliseum, Vatican Museums, etc., I made sure to leave links to some of my favorite tours for you in the description down below. Next, I'm going to share with you one of the absolute top things to see in Rome that most people unfortunately never get a chance to experience. It's a cloister of a Dominican convent of Santa Maria Sopra Minerva Church. Located right behind the Pantheon in Piazza della Minerva, this is a true hidden gem of Rome. Built in the 13th century and rarely open to the public before, this place breathes history and culture on every corner. It was here in 1576 Giordano Bruno, after fleeing away from Naples, found a refuge. We all know how that story ends. And in 1633 Galileo Galilei shared a Copernican model of the solar system. Adorned with numerous frescoes along the walls and vaults, Artists like Francesco Nappi, Cesare Torelli, Giuseppe Puglia, among others, have made this cluster a place of majestic beauty over the centuries. At the cloister, you will also find tombs of Cardinal Astor Gionese and Cardinal Pietro Ferrici, both from the 15th century. In 1665, during the expansion works of the convent, a pink granite obelisk was found in the convent garden exactly the one you see located now in the square in front of the church, placed above the famous little elephant designed by Bernini. Fabulous people, do you understand what a rare and unique opportunity you now have to see something in Rome that previously you were never able to see before? 
millions upon millions upon millions of tourists came to Rome every single year. And up until now, no one, including people who live in Rome, were able to see this. Now I'm sure you're wondering how and when you can visit this hidden gem. Twice a month, Dominican friars offer a guided tour that also includes the basilica. In addition, the cloister hosts numerous cultural events as well as promotes art of emerging artists that you can attend for free when you visit Rome. So if you plan on traveling to Italy and wondering what to do in Rome that nobody knows, attending an event at a cloister of the Dominican convent of Santa Maria Sopra Minerva Church will give you a unique opportunity to admire a place of beauty where religion and art coexist in perfect symbiosis. The final hidden gem of Rome that I'd like to share with you today is the Cloister of Bramante and more specifically its cafeteria. I know you might be confused, let me explain. Even though the Chiostro del Bramante, one of the highlights of Renaissance architecture in Rome, is definitely worth seeing, today I want to focus on its one-of-a-kind cafeteria. I'm so excited, fabulous people. Let's go see what this place has to offer. Set in a loggia that surrounds the upper level of Bramante's 15th century courtyard, as you walk in, you truly feel like you stepped inside a fairy tale. Every corner of this cafe will leave you speechless, but there is a particular one that you absolutely have to see up close. As you approach the window on the right corner of the cafe, you will be able to admire an extraordinary view of Raphael's famous Sibyl's fresco. The painting was commissioned by the Siena's banker Agostino Kigi and is considered a work of notable beauty and refinement. It's something that you absolutely have to see with your own eyes. If you would like to stay for a drink or a snack, the cafe offers a nice selection of beverages, including afternoon tea and food. So if you are in the Piazza Navona area, want to take a break from the crowds, grab a drink and admire Raphael's fresco, this is definitely a hidden gem for you. All right, fabulous people, thank you so much for watching this Rome vlog. I truly hope that you found it useful and beneficial. And of course, don't forget to check out other hidden gems of Rome. Now, before you go, please remember to smack that like button. And if you're new to my channel and my vibe and the vibe of this channel resonates with you, I invite you to subscribe. By the way, how do you like Pantheon on the background? And I truly hope to see you all in the next video.